like last week. So they're not fresh in my head. The other game's gonna be right, a little yeah. bit easier to. We'll do it. We'll All do right. It. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Hello, and welcome back to Belmont Bunch, week two uh, of the Islanders season. Uh, we're gonna be going over these three games and then the other two that also occurred. Uh, but today, we also have a studio audience. James, add the crowd noise. Add the crowd noise. All right, we're going to start with uh, the one loss this week, uh, a really, really ugly showing in Carolina. Um, I got back from the Quinnipiac game in time to watch the third, and I really wish I hadn't uh, because they were awful. They were terrible. Poor Thomas Grice was really left out to dry, as you can see by the shots. A terrible game pretty much all around, um, except for Brock Nelson, who had a pretty decent game. The, the power play, uh, two for five, not bad. Uh, Brock, uh, Brock scored, Brock assisted the power play goal scored by Johnny Borchuk, uh, where he celebrated once again too early against Carolina. When are we going to learn to not celebrate the game-tying goal against Carolina and then give up multiple goals after that? But I digress. Um, not really much else to talk about uh, other than we, we sucked. We were terrible. Uh, so that's like the general thing I want you to remember about this game. We were terrible, and Carolina scares me. Uh, although Carolina's lost three in a, a row, now, so maybe we wore them down. We wore them down. <laughs> down by letting them walk all over us. Game number five of the season. Uh, at this point, the Islanders are one and three. Really, really, really needing a win. Uh, I was at this game with my friend Dan, who was uh, shown in the audience earlier. What? Yeah. And Anders Lee scored a power play goal from uh, Matt Barzal on a great feed. His celebration on the goal made you realize how much this team is starved for offense because he celebrated it like we won the Stanley Cup. And you know what? I'm here for it. Um, Anders Lee gets that goal. Josh Bailey scores. Uh, to this point, he had taken two shots in the season, and he had scored both of them. Incredible. I, I think sometimes he just closes his eyes and goes, all right, good luck, everyone else, and he goes in. Uh, that's what happened with Josh Bailey on the second goal. Absolute snipe top corner. He just needs to think less. Uh, which is what some of my teachers told me to do the opposite of in school. Varlamov stowed on his head. Fantastic performance. Uh, made some really clutch saves in the shootout, three for three save-wise. Was fantastic. And Brock Nelson, again, gets the shootout game winner. And uh, the Islanders once again get outshot. That's a little bit scary. Uh, but the PK went three for three, really big. Varlamov was their best penalty killer, which is what needs to happen sometimes. But yeah, a uh, really important win. They get out by the skin of their teeth, and now they're two and three at this point. Then we have game six, uh, in which the Islanders play five good minutes of hockey and win. Uh, I don't think they should try doing that very often, because it won't work. But Barzal broke out in this game, uh, scored the game-tying goal in the final 30 seconds with the goalie pulled, uh, assisted the, John uh, the Jonathan Taves Devon Taves, game-winning goal, no relation. Uh, in overtime, the Islanders were down 2-0 in this game, showed a complete lack of any offensive prowess through 55 minutes. And then Brock Nelson throws the puck on goal, scores. He's having a good week. Bennington probably should have had it. It's just what Butch always says. you got to throw pucks on net to score. And that's what happens. And on Barzal's goal, they didn't even throw the puck on that, and it went in. It was a deflected pass goes in. Uh, not how you draw it up, but you take it with all the pressure they put on in the third, as you can see by the shots, because it's the one game where we actually bossed the other team around late in the game. Uh, and then in overtime, uh, we had all of the puck. Um, great weave play with Taves, uh, Nelson, and Barzal uh, ends up in a uh, defensive breakdown from the Blues. And uh, the Islanders win uh, their second in a row to this point, getting back to 500, uh, getting the OT win. Uh, really, really big win to this point uh, in the season. One that you will have to think about throughout the season when you're thinking this team's down late. You know, they know they can do it. There's hope now when you're down two goals late. Uh, yeah, but other than that, Grice didn't have a, a ton to do. And the Islanders played five good minutes of hockey and won. All right, uh, now we have the last two games that the Islanders have played. Uh, to this point, the Islanders are 3-3, three and three, coming off of two extra time victories, and they're going into Winnipeg trying to sweep the season series after Winnipeg is probably the only team that we really bossed around in the, the first few games of the season. Uh, we go to Winnipeg, and we beat them again because they're still an AHL defense. We're not scoring a ton, 
Uh, but our defense, you can see we're starting to limit teams' chances. Uh, and offensively, it's coming around enough to get the job done. Uh, really, if the Islanders score three goals, I think there was a stat last year that said if they score three goals, their win percentage was like, it was good. I, I'm going to try to get the stat for that at some point. But uh, in this game, Matt Barzal remembers once again, I can shoot the puck instead of passing it. And he scores twice. He scored um, the go-ahead goal very late in the second period on a fantastic rush from, from him. He basically did it himself. Uh, Varlamov was, once again, incredibly uh, fantastic. Incredibly fantastic. Blech. Varlamov was great. Uh, did the job once again, 32 of 33. The PP, the power play, uh, is clicking. It's clicking, ladies and gentlemen. Our power play, which was abysmal last year, bottom three in the NHL, is clicking at 33%. Holy jeez, it's good. I like. I don't know why I just keep saying dumb things this time around. I don't know. Right, whatever. Yeah. Um, but you know they get out shot again. But really, not a lot of high danger opportunities for the Jets. The Islanders played to at that point probably their most complete game of the year. And even then, once again, the first period got out shot 16 to five. So don't do that. That's my expert advice. Yes, I do accept checks for coaching advice. So uh, not a ton to talk about other than that. Um, Bailey gets the empty netter. So far, Bailey's been pretty good. His shot percentage is really high, uh, but that'll come back down to earth when he starts thinking about when he shoots again. He's so much better off when he doesn't think. It's so weird to say, shooting-wise. Um, but yeah, good game. Uh, give up a power play goal in this one, but generally the best performance of the year in limiting other teams' chances. And then we go to Columbus. Uh, at the time of this filming, this was last night, the Isles on the verge of a four-game winning streak for the first time since January of last year. Uh, and they get it done. Uh, Barzal scores again, uh, finding the five-hole of Corpus Allo, uh on a fantastic uh, you know, burst of speed, uh, beats his defenseman, bouncing puck, he corrals it, puts it through the legs of a not great goalie, but you can't apologize for the goalie you play against when you score. Uh, although that would be a very Canadian thing if he scored and went, sorry. Beauvillier has two assists in this game. He assisted the game winner overtime. I am really loving what we're seeing from Beauvillier so far. Uh, even in games where he's not putting up points, which so far actually hasn't been many. He's been putting up points a lot. Um, he's driving play. He's doing a great job of uh, pushing the puck back into the danger areas. Nelson gets the game winner in this one uh, off of a Bavillier fantastic play. Uh, a two-on-one, or a one-on-one -on -one with the goalie, Letty gets stopped. Columbus goes to turn the puck around, turn it into a three-on-one or a two-on-one the other way, and Bavillier swipes the puck away from uh, the Columbus defenseman trying to break out, goes right back on the Letty stick. It's a two-on-one. Saucer pass over to Nelson. Nelson wins it. More important than winning is Michael Dalcole scored a goal. Yes, it was an empty net. Yes, he almost still missed it. But, yes, he did score. So, your move, atheist. <laughs> if you want proof of God, there it is. He has scored. Ah, uh, another great game from Grice. Uh, he was screened on the first Columbus goal, and it was also just a decent play uh, from Sonny Milano, the Massapequa native, Long Island. I'm just going to say Long Island. The goals that they give up in this game, um, kind of tough. Grice got kind of screened on both of them, so Grice saved everything that he saw in this game. And the no power play opportunities, but we outshoot Columbus. Um, the most complete performance of the year so far, uh, edging out the Winnipeg uh, away game. Uh, but now with the, we're looking at maybe the most positive um, stretch for the Islanders since last year's uh, first round. Uh, four straight wins. They're not all, they haven't all been convincing. Uh, I don't want it to be, to, to seem that, you know, we're blowing teams away. I think if you're watching the games, you know we're not. Uh, but this is the type of game the Islanders win. We talked about it, uh, about the Carolina series last year. Carolina beat us at our own game. Uh, so far this season, yes, Carolina once again has beat us at our own game, and it sucks. But other teams haven't figured us out yet, so let's just hope we don't play Carolina again in the playoffs. I think we're going to move on to the three stars of the week now. Three stars of the week, uh, the Islanders, uh, yeah, that's the team. All right, bye. Great week for the Islanders going 4-1. and one. Uh, Barzal had a sick week, uh, six points, uh, 
driving play, scoring like a madman. Somebody stop this kid. Actually, don't. Nelson, uh, Brock Nelson, play, uh, a stint in the sin bin last week for his 10 penalty minutes. Um, puts up six points and a game-winning shootout goal and a game-winning overtime goal. That's a pretty good way to get Barry Trotz to stop hating you. Uh, and then Anthony Beauvillier, like, obviously, you're like, two assists, cool. Like, what do you do? Uh, he's just been generally working his, his ass off this year, and he, they don't win that game last night without him. Uh, he sets up the Dow Cole goal. He sets up the, uh, the game winner for Nelson by swiping the puck away from the defender. And generally, he's living up to what, fair, you know, to be fair, is a small contract uh, in the grand scheme of things. But for the Islanders, that looks like a great bargain right now. Uh, so Beauvilliers working it. Uh, Barzal looks fantastic. Johnny Boychuk ends up in our sin bin this week. Honestly, it was such a good week. I... Like, I, I, I guess I almost put Mayfield in. He struggled a little bit defensively. Decided to keep up the positivity. Uh, the only bad thing that I felt this week, um, well, that's not the only bad thing I felt, but forget about the Yankees for a sec. Boychuk, great Selly on that power play goal. He doesn't score much anymore. He's getting up there. The Selly, I don't have a problem with. Uh, it's a bad look when we give up three goals after that. And generally stop celebrating against Carolina. I almost feel like when we score against Carolina, everybody should keep their head down and go to the bench because, God, that doesn't work for us. We saw it with Brock in the playoffs last year. It's really embarrassing, and we need to stop. Uh, other than that, everything else, really good. Uh, fun week. Uh, let's hope they keep it going. They don't play again until Thursday. But, uh, hey, they're ahead of the Tampa Bay Lightning in the standings right now. Uh, so... I mean, you got to be happy with that. Uh, and that's uh, this week's video. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, pulverize that subscribe button. Pulverize this! Uh, uh, why, why don't you get pulverized? What? Why is my audience moving in? Oh my god! Oh, oh god! Oh, ah, oh jeez! Ah, ah. The Rangers send their regards.